Morning. So it's Wednesday morning um, and today we're going to take the public bus system and ferry system over to Manly and then carry on north uh, to end up at Newport Beach. Um, this is where I was 30 years ago staying with Anthony and Dickie um, in the rugby house of Newport and I want to retrace some steps from 30 years ago. So yeah, it should be a really good day using a bit of public transport. Transport, and we just had a lovely breakfast in the Rocks Cafe, which I'm sure I'll put some pictures on later. So there we are. Have a good day out and report in later. Cheers. Morning, Uncle Paul. Morning. And Auntie are. Dorothy. And Auntie Dorothy, of course, yeah. So we're like you two now. We have our Opal cards. We're only here for another 24 hours, but we've got $20 each on an Opal card. And off we go on public transport for the day. Woohoo! Cheerio. Bye. So we're now on the Manly Ferry from Circular Quay. And we're leaving in a minute. And at Manly, we then are going to get on a public bus and head north. So we're now in Manly, um, we came here via the, the ferry and our Opal cards and yeah fantastic, what a great, a great thing to do. Um, so Manly looks really nice, even though it's a grey day again, um, looks a lovely place. Um, but if you do happen to go swimming here, just, just be a little bit careful um, because actually they do have these here. Yes, shark nets. But actually today, the shark net is actually open. Open to all the sharks. So this is Manly Beach and I must admit I've never been here before, this is really nice. It's a nice town, um, looks like there's a nice few bars and, and restaurants and what a lovely town beach, beautiful. So on the on the sort of ferry terminal beach side of Manly, there's full on shark nets. But on this big sort of open stretch surf beach, there, there's no shark nets, there's no signs of any danger. Um, really weird, and it's just around the headland, it's full on shark nets. So that's a bit confusing. Don't know why that's the case. Maybe I'll 
Google it and find the answer and maybe come back to you on that one. Or maybe not. Probably they not. Can't, excuse me. They can't net all this area off. It's massive. Basically, if you're going to be a surfer, you know the score. So therefore, that's why they don't bother because surfers know all about sharks already. Thank you. Surfers are a different breed. Like we have in Senan, uh, Mere, uh, Newquay, you know even down at Lev, cool Lev. Yep. Anyway, chin chin. So I'm in the Newport Arms in Newport. Um, this is where I used to go 30 years ago with uh, Anthony, Dickie, even Jackie and Dave when they visited with all the Newport rugby boys. This was their local bar, uh, Newport Arms, just up the road from where we were staying. And um, yeah, quite amazing being back here. We used to prop up these tables here and have a load of VB, which nobody sells anymore. It's now Han. So there we are. This place is completely trans transformed. It's almost like a beautiful resort now. Um, but they've kept this original bar the same. Everything else is all very posh. Amazing, you put arms. Oh, Anthony, this is um, coming down to the bottom of the hill from uh, Tubby's house, which I don't think we can find. And if you remember on this corner, well, all this lot wasn't here. But if you remember that pizza restaurant we used to go to with the mafia guy always in there having his pizza, I'm hoping we'll come across that in a minute. Well, chaps, I think this is the pizza place we used to come. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Wow. 30 years ago, you used to have pizza in here. And there was always a bit of a mafia guy. A bit of a Don Corleone sat there. Wow. So this is uh, Newport Beach, um, used to come here quite a lot 30 years ago when I was staying in this area and uh, always a, a lovely sort of surf break and uh, a gorgeous beach, look at that eh, nothing's changed in 30 years, what a lovely place to be. So this is now Palm Beach, um, we've just come up the coast from um, Newport Beach, uh, about 20 minutes again on our public bus and ah, unbelievable, I, I did come here 30 years ago, maybe only once or twice, I just no recollection about how posh this really is. The properties are just multi-millionaires row, it's just Stunning, stunning. Um, this is the site of where uh, Home and Away is filmed. Um, but that aside, um, what a lovely place to come. Really, really special this is. Beautiful.
So if you are living here or staying here, you can enjoy the beach or you can enjoy the safety of the outdoor swimming pool. So, we've just come across this swimming pool, which they're calling Palm Beach Rock Pool. I'd like to just pan in on the pool, please, Giles. Okay, Hector. Thank you. Okay, you and back to me, back to me. Back to me. Back to me. So, basically, it's a swimming pool filled with seawater, just like Jubilee Pool, but the added advantage is there's no sharks in it. Which is quite good, really. Mm. Wouldn't you agree? Unless the local bother boys at night catch a few sharks yeah. and dump, dump them, them in, in here. There. Yeah, they might do. Yeah, they might do. You never know. It's but possible. wouldn't have thought so because it's very posh around here. It is. And posh people don't behave like that, do they? Not as a rule. <laughs> Even Chris Jones, and he's very posh. Yes. In fact, most Dowie boys, to be mm. honest. Do you know, it's great staying in Sydney city itself and where we are on the rocks. Um, I really love it there, the, the sights and everything is beautiful. But I must admit, when we come again, I reckon a couple of days in Sydney city itself and then maybe a few days out on these coastal beaches. Because what we've seen today on the bus has been absolutely outstanding it really has and it's still all quite close into Sydney so there we are I don't know what my wife thinks but I think it's lovely out. lovely excellent but I think you talk a lot talk a lot sorry about that everyone <laughs> so be back to normal you won't hear from me for a long time okay so here he goes for his shark free dip in the sea as long as the bomber boys weren't here last night, and put some sharks in, of course. Oh, well, you'll soon find out, won't you, Doug Dale? Cold on the little John Thomas. Uh, well, I can't say anything about that, can I? This Greek god coming towards me. I think he's fancying his slack around here. <laughs> <laughs> 